Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, Jose Carlos. Welcome. Hello, Olga. Welcome. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello, mister. We were missing you yesterday. Yes, teacher. I, I, I didn't. I didn't came. <laughs> I couldn't, you say. I couldn't. I couldn't. Didn't but... can't, it's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> really? No, <laughs> no. So you can say, um, I didn't have time, I didn't have the chance, or I couldn't come. It wasn't possible for me to come. I had some issues to do. I had personal difficulties, right? You have all these options, right? I, I was, was busy. Driving. You were driving. No, that's yeah. very, it's very dangerous to drive and to listen and to participate and all that. I think it is not the most recommendable thing to do. I honestly don't recommend it. <laughs> okay. Because mostly now that it is raining, yesterday it was raining a lot and it is really complicated to be driving and, and everything and in the middle of the rain. No, then they're going to say, because of teacher not. No. <laughs> most, most, of, most of the women. Of the women? The women say women, women. women say they they can. Uh, but yeah, but because um, <laughs> I think I think we we ladies do time. a lot of things at the same time. That's that's something that that we do because I have a, a very good example at the moment of making dinner, for example. I I do the beans, the eggs, and everything, the coffee, blah blah blah, blah at the same time. But then my husband is like, first one thing, then the tortilla, then the beans, then the coffee. And, and when the coffee is ready, all the rest is cold. So it's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> In order to follow processes, uh, ladies do a lot of things at the same time. We are multitask. Yes. But boys uh, put a lot of detail on the things that they do. That's the problem. Hello, Yvette, how are you? How are you feeling? Do you feel better from your migraine? Okay. I, I, I don't call you Vilma anymore, only Yvette. <laughs> okay, hello, Christia, how are you? Hi, teacher, uh, very, very nice, I think. Uh, today I was, uh, I had a very busy day. Tired, but I think everything is good because I feel very happy. Uh, at evening, I have, or at evening or at, at, in a, at, no, you say in the evening. In the evening, uh, I have a meeting. Uh, with uh, the old people in English and, and I think I I feel more comfortable, more comf confident. More confident, uh -huh. confident and comfortable. Uh -huh. Yes, and I really, really 
felt very happy. Hey, that's pretty nice. Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> very nice, Christian. Fantastic. You see, those are the little rewards that you get when you start like getting into the practice, right? Yeah. And that you feel that I feel comfortable at the moment of speaking. When you trust yourself, I think the problem is that you can do the things, but we sometimes believe that we can't. Yes. As, as I told you some days before, right? That the most difficult part of English is keeping silence, the voice here in the head that's like no no puedes no te va a salir bien feo si te voy a ir no no va a poder no va a poder and you're like no no puedo and you say no and you don't try so the the thing yeah. is that uh, let's see okay good so um the idea is that one right the most difficult part of english is when you say i can do it i am going to do it i am doing it and i did it right that's in the day I did it. This is the best part of yes, of the yes, yes. But I'm very grateful because I think uh, the class uh, of English uh, uh, helped to me with this. Well, we yeah. are going to continue working on yes. that one, right? Yay. And in, we, in in this rest of we are almost in the middle of the of the module, people. My God. Today, yeah. when I was when I was checking the the calendar and the dates and all that, I said, "My God, today is our class number ten, and oh, my goodness, or no, today is our class number nine, and we are about to finish the middle uh, the, the second week, and we, everything is going so fast. But I hope we get the best advantage out of all these practices that we are doing. Well." Congratulations, Christia, on your day and all the accomplishments that you had today. Okay, let me just, and I am going to answer the Anita that is driving. Right now, she's still driving uh, home and she's going to be listening to the class. Hello, Caro. Hello, uh, Silvia, Hello. Marlene, Nelson, Mr. Manuel, Rosy, Juan de Dios. Olga Marleni, Yvette, Rocío. Uy, uy, Rocío. Se <laughs> enoja no, Olga, Rocío. Good evening, teacher. And Mr. Jorge, right? Good evening. <laughs> Good, evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> <Okay>. Hello. <laughs> hello. Well, <laughs> exactly on the moment. So like, hello, Rocío. You start coughing. Yeah, and, and I was dying with my <laughs> It's like, de, de seguro el té me ayudará. Okay. <laughs> el, el té matándome. Exactly. Hey, man. Ay, no, no. Yo sé, like, el, el té es muy bueno para la salud. El té. <laughs> Muriendo. Ah, my students. Well. So I am very, very happy that you had a beautiful day, that Yvette doesn't have migraine today. That's good. That Christia could made it to her presentation, right? No hay migraña, right, Yvette? Thank God. Thank God. That's very good. That we can see Claudita, eh? Claudita in a different angle. That's pretty cool, right? That we can see you there. And to see that all of you are here, uh, it's very nice and rewarding for me because I have the chance to see you. I, today, we are going to work a little bit on inbound and outbound logistics, right? We are going to work a little bit on this. Did you have the opportunity to investigate what is it about? Inbound and outbound logistics? No idea? Yeah, um, inbound. Uh huh. Inbound. Then, oh. oh. how <laughs> You see, it's a very good definition, right? Inbound logistics are the ones that are coming into the factory, the the place, the restaurant, the the supermarket, whatever thing that you have, right? The office. Right, that it's inbound logistics and outbound, it's everything that we take from our place 
to the customers, right? And all the processes that it involves. We're going to study that in deep today, okay? So let me ask Mr. Juan de Dios to help me with the agreements. Go ahead. Class agreements. Number one, practice your English as much as possible. Number two, ask for help when needed. Number three, your cameras on all the time. Uh, four, keep microphone off if we are not using them. Number five, attend all your session on time. Number six, participate as much as possible. Seven, keep a cooperative attitude during class. Number eight, collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. Number nine, Work on the platform every day. Thank you very much, Mr. Juan de Dios. Remember, you say like practice your English, English as much as possible, right? Practice your English as much as possible. The next one, you say microphones, microphones. The next one, cooperative attitude, attitude. And um, collaborate, collaborate, cooperative collaborate and platform platform and every day right work work on the platform every day and for sure pronunciation of the words in the best and the most uh, appropriate <laughs> way it's very important so today as i told you before we are going to work in the inbound and outbound logistics it's our class number nine and for sure I am very glad to have you here. <clears throat> I am going to ask if we have any doctor here in the group. Do we have any doctor in the group? No? Relatives who are doctors? Nadie tiene familia doctora? Yvette? Who? Uh, my cousin. Your cousin. Well, Congratulations on the doctor's day. Today is the doctor's day. So say, say congratulations to your cousin. Hoy es el día del médico, así que congrats. Congrats to all the ones who made life possible. Congratulations oh. to your cousin. And uh, Carolina, do you work with doctors? Yeah, sure. My so, boss. Ah, your boss is a, is a doctor. Did you say congratulations today? Thank you. Lo felicitó ahora? Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> a él, perdón, a él y a otros colegas. That's pretty good. Very nice. So, you see, the importance, right? He's no mañana. Ayer era el día del doctor. Nadie me felicitó. Ah, es el IC, doctor. Yo fui. Ah, okay. <laughs> I, I hear that. Yes, today, <laughs> today is the, it's the doctor's day. So, let me see. I am going to ask Olga Marlene. Tell me about your day. What did you do? My day was so busy. Um, in my work. Uh, what did you do? I have a little... Um, for example... Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Tramitar, tramitar las compras. I, I had to do the, uh, well, in that case, it's not the sales, it's ventas. The um, compras sería like, what, the, oh my goodness. In that case, it, it will be like the products, the acquisitions, the, what? <laughs> The products uh, that you get, the, all the paperwork for the products. Cotice muchos I was uh, requerimientos. Checking out documents and requirements. Checking out documents and requirements. And requirements. And contabilice también gastos. 
I do the account. I did the accounting of the expenses. I did the accounting of the expenses and attend the customers. Are you attended customers? Oh my God, you did a little bit of everything. Yes. <laughs> you did all the paperwork, the, the, the getting the products, the sales, the mm, oh, everything, yes. the purchases, the purchases. Yeah. That's that's the the purchases. The purchases. Esos son compras. Mm -hmm. I am going to send it to you in the chat. The purchases. The purchases, it's okay. what you get. And the sales, it's what you give, right? Mm -hmm. And all the documents, right? And the accounting, it's like contabilidad, the accounting and the requirements. Mm -hmm. Requirements are like los requerimientos, los papeles, right? Mm -hmm. And when you say like, I did the paperwork, the paperwork, it's all the papeleo, right? I, mean, I need to fill out the paperwork. Like todos los recibos, todos volados, todo el papel, todo lo que requiere hacer como documentos, that's paperwork. Paperwork. I did the paperwork. Very good. Okay. And let me see. Well, you had a very busy day. And then you attended clients, right? <laughs> On the top of everything, yes. you attended clients. Yes, me too. Okay. And in that case, Olga Marleni, how many people do you work with? How many people do you uh, work with? What is the, the number of 22 people? 22 people. 22 people and Olga was purchasing, saving, attending. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like my work. That's pretty awesome. With now, the liquidation, uh -huh. with the liquidation too. I received the liquidation. The liquidation. Liqu liquidation. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think it's. Well, let me. It's como... Yeah. But. Is it for you or for, for others? For me. But isn't it that, yeah, it's, isn't it that the one that you get when you finish a, a workplace? Como like cuando, ajá, como cuando te terminan el proceso y te dicen, bueno, gracias, aquí está, vea. Adiós. Mm -hmm. No, liquidar, en mi caso, yo, I received the liquidation uh, about the process of my co-workers. Ah, es decir, uh -huh. ellos sacan un cheque para X actividad y luego llegan y lo liquidan contra facturas o si les sobró devuelven ah, dinero. Ah, now, now I get it. Now, <laughs> yeah, because what I, what I knew, what I knew <laughs> is that when they, when they give you this, um, this closing or this settlement of, of your salary, it's like they say, well, thank you very much. See yeah. you later. And then you take your money and run, right? Because it's Not like, yet. Uh, Not yet. that's why I was like, oh my God. <laughs> okay, so um, maybe in that case, it's like uh, when they pay, uh, cash out or pay out the bills, right? When they pay, pay out, out. Bills, it's like, Aquí está el dinero, lo trajimos y, es, mm -hmm. y tenga. They pay out bills. Okay. <laughs> Uy, <laughs> yeah. The, the, this uh, salary settlement or liquidation that you say, it's like uh, for that moment when you finish the work, right? But when they say like they had to pay out bills, they go, they close it, and then you check them and then you uh, give the papers to them. Good. A lot of work. Thank you, Olga, for sharing your day. Let's mm -hmm. see. We are going to go with Miss Claudia Maria. Tell me a little bit about your day. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Okay, my day was mm, kind of, mm, how you say, calmado. Relaxed. <laughs> relaxed, <laughs> yes. It was relaxed because tomorrow is Friday. <laughs> Yay. So with the Monday is the day is, is you are not running everywhere. So Friday and just uh, super relaxed. Mm -hmm. I am um, this week I was sick. I have a cough, but I am better, too much better. 
that could fly cross sea, right? <laughs> I think it was COVID, but I don't make it a test, so I can say. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> they had, right now we say like, I think I had COVID. Yeah, yes. but now I feel better. But if, do you remember there in 2020, around yes. February or March? <laughs> yes. I think no and one. I have a, I have a picture after, uh, I have a picture uh, two years ago, I have I, I have COVID. Oh I was God. I have COVID. So imagine two years ago, exactly. Yes, yes. No, it was like yes, two years ago in yes. in March or April that yes. we were with all the panic of COVID, and it's like uh, maybe it was terrible. in in a little minute you were like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but now it's like, yes, I think I had COVID, but I didn't have a test. Okay. Right? Yeah. I am okay. Thank God. I think like... Uh, I, have a, a, I have a vaccine, so there's no problem. Only one or the four? Three. Three. I have four. How many do you have? Oh, my God. <laughs> I have three. <laughs> yeah, because I, 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 I had to get it because as I am a teacher and I work at at the workplace and I am with the students and everything I have to have them that that's cool I am still alive <laughs> yeah a veces me reinicio pero es normal <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a veces me reinicio el sistema pero de ahí todo es normal okay <laughs> thank you very much to my uh, highlights of the day I had Cristia I had Olga I have Mr. Jorge telling me about his day and for sure I had Claudia Maria well, yesterday we talked about what, people? What did we talk about yesterday? Do you remember? Huh? For Jorge. I don't remember, teacher. Uh, for sure, because you I, were not in class. I lost my mind. <laughs> building, teacher, building vocabulary. We were uh, building logistic. vocabulary, uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, logistics, supplies, procurement, distribution. My, my ten, ay, no, esa palabra maintenance. Nunca le mine, maintenance. Maintenance. <laughs> Say, mine. Mine. Ten. Ten. Ah, uh, Maintenance. Maintenance. Inventory man, management. Management. Eh, management y supply chain. Very good. Thank you, Carolina. You see, Jorge, take notes. Take notes. Cristia, tell me. I have a question uh, yes. about the word of man maintenance, like I, like Carolina said, uh, is correct if I say maintenance. Maintenance, yes, because it's like, uh, remember that there are many different ways like to pronounce. There are many people who it's going to make it shorter. I made it like very slow for you to remember the pronunciation. But at the moment of speaking, you can say like the maintenance thing because you have oh. more practice, right? But right now, as I was explaining to Carolina, like maintenance, right? Okay. For you to Ma get accustomed. Once you are used to the word, you can say like maintenance, right? And it, you can make it as fast as possible, but it's cool. Thank you for the question, Christia, very nice. Thank you. Okay, so we were talking about vocabulary. We were talking, right, and I have it right here. We were talking about logistics, supplies, procurement, distribution, maintenance, inventory management, and supply chain, right? And we were saying that logistics, what is logistics, people? Ayudemos a Jorge Humberto a volver al track there. What is logistics? The coordination, the coordination of an operation involving many people, qualities or supplies. Okay, you say coordination. Coordination. You know, coordination. No, no, coordination. Chan, el chan tan marcado. Coordination. 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 Because if you say coordination, it's like, no, right, no, please. Oh. <laughs> right, el inglés. <laughs> Cooperation. <laughs> no, right, coordination. <laughs> coordination and operation, right? Mm -hmm. Don't say like chan, operation, no. <laughs> operation. <laughs> Tuve una operation. Una ¿sí? operation. No, operation. but <laughs> in the med in the medical things, it's a surgery. 
surgery. It says surgery, right? <laughs> it's like, I, I had an operation. <laughs> so it says surgery. The best way to say it, it's a surgery, right? Una cirugía. Okay, so um, you say it's the coordination and operation involving many people, facilities, or supplies. Can you tell me what supplies are? Or what is it? The amount of the amount other of service offers for sale. For sale. Good, for sale. Amount. 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 Okay. Amount. And service. 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 Okay, la letra V, it's B, right? Service. 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 Good, very good. Let's see, what about procurement? The act, the act of obtaining uh, or buying goods and services. Buying, buying. Buying goods and, and services. services. Services, good. What about distribution? Process of buying goods to service and other businesses. Okay, businesses. 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 The businesses. Aquí el salvadoreño nos ayuda, miren. El businesses. Businesses. Well, it's businesses. The businesses. The businesses. Because it's plural, right? The business. Businesses. And what about the next one? Maintenance. 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 The process of keeping process something, of keeping in, good something in good condition. The process of keeping something in good condition. Good, very good. What about inventory management? The the ongoing process of moving parts and products into and out of and out company of location. Company location. Okay, the ongoing process of moving, right? Moving with a V, moving parts and products into and out of a company's location. Companies, because it's a, it's a processive, right? The companies. The next one, it is supply chain. In the, the network created different companies and distributing, 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 distributing. Okay, the network created amongst different companies producing and distributing product. Product. Distributing, right? Distributing product. Very good. So, Mr. Jorge, we were doing this, and for sure, yesterday we were also talking about a, a conversation. We did some a role plays about the boss and the employees. It was very fun because we were having a, a lot of a practice among this one. Mr. Manuel, tell me. Teacher, the attendance. I am going to call it out right now. <laughs> you see, I have it as you can see here in the in the um, slides. No sé si ya se dieron cuenta que en todas las slides llevo como el orden de todos los días. ¿verdad? Todos los días tenemos el proceso y tenemos los highlights, la review y después. <laughs> it was exactly after the review. And but thank you very much, Manuel, because you are my reminder. Okay, Manuel es el que me tiene ahí siempre, a mí me recuerda. Así. Okay. <laughs> Cortita, sí me tiene. <laughs> That's pretty good. Let me see, let me see. Hey, what, where, did I, where did I place it? Here I go. Remember when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present. Today is July 14, 2022. Let's go with Carolina Yamilet. Present. Claudia Maria Melendez. Here, teacher. Christian Natalie. Present, teacher. Diana Elizabeth. Oh, she's driving, but she's here. <laughs> hey, here, teacher, she says on the chat. Good. Be careful, be careful, Dianita, because you are driving. And let me see, let's continue. She says, here, teacher. Jorge Humberto. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Eh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Jose Rodrigo. Jose Rodrigo Hernández. 
Eh, Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Linda Ivet. Linda, linda. Linda, linda, qué linda. Eh, linda. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. María Genoveva. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Nelson Gabarrete. Present teacher. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Ok. Norma Carolina, thank you very much. Olga Marlene. My present teacher. Thank you. Rocío Verónica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Present. Silvia Zuleima. Present. Tatiana Michelle. Bill Maivet. Here. Thank you. Okay. And Marlene Nicole. Miss Marlene. Por ahí acabo de ver a Marlene que se me hizo. Se me perdió. Okay, okay. And let's continue here with Omar Francisco. And Danny Anthony. Hey, ¿qué, me pasa? ¿Qué me les pasó a los tres? Se me perdieron. Hmm, ya lo puedo ir a buscar. ¿Dónde andan perdidos? Ok. We are 17 in class, including the teacher. Ok, good. Today, the one-on-one -on -one session is for... Uh, let me see, Linda Yvette, but uh, I hope she appears later on. If not, Manuel Antonio is going to have his one-on-one -on -one today, okay? So if Linda doesn't come, we're going to work with Mr. Manuel. Good, let's continue working. Today, I, well, as I told you before, we need to work on the platform, right? I hope you are advancing on this. I hope you are working a lot on the platform. Remember that um, for this uh, week, we have the unit two. And uh, for sure, we need to cover this part of section number two. And on section number two, yeah. you also have the midterm evaluations that it's a kind of a review of uh, all these. So please, I need you to work and to have it ready. We were working on this one on the previous class, right? We already completed the first one. The second one, it's about uh, the different uh, functions that we were talking about yesterday. And this is uh, about the, the logistic management that we're going to talk about in the class. The three PL that it's on the on the manual and here you have the vocabulary that we studied yesterday about logistics right here you have the vocabulary that we studied yesterday so you can complete it as well and the next one is about uh, the steps process of inbound and outbound uh, logistics that we're going to study today and for sure the last one is a checklist, right, of uh, items to evaluate a third party logistics provider. So in this one, you are going to choose the different ones that you consider appropriate for a third party logistics provider. This is also a part, uh, this is on the manual as well. So, but if you advance it already, we can help to check on this one done on uh, the class for tomorrow. Okay, and in this one, for sure, you are going to have the different practice of the uncertainty that we have been studying. Here you have the uh, vocabulary for uncertainty. Suspicious, query, it's a question, right? To take anything for, for granted. What is to take anything for granted? It's like no tomes nada por sentado, right? No es que lo vaya a tomar sentado, sino que es que no lo tome por, uh, it's like no estés tan seguro de eso, right? To doubt. Swear, doubt is like, mm. 
I don't know. I swear you say, te, te lo juro. Right? To take for granted is like tomarlo por sentado, pues ser convencido, and to be convinced of. And in this, how can you be convinced of or take for granted her innocence when all the proofs are pointing at her being the culprit? It's like, ella es la, la culpable. La. So you have it there. You have the uncertainty vocabulary on the platform. That is for section number two. And on the midterm evaluations, you have four, if I am not mistaken. Right, you have one, two, three, four. Yes, you have four evaluations. And on part number one, you have again the vocabulary, right? That we have just studied. We did this one. We also have uh, the uh, phrases for certainty or uncertainty. And we also have more practice of the vocabulary of the certainty and uncertainty. And the last one, it's a little bit of the 3PL distribution uh, points, right? You have to choose one, a company that organizes shipments for corporations to get goods from the manufacturer to a market customer or final point of distribution. And you have to choose which company is it. Do you remember which is the company that organizes shipments for corporations? Did you do this exercise already? ¿Ya hicieron este ejercicio o no lo han hecho? Yes. yes. What was the company? It's a freight forwarding, disaster recovery plan, LEED certification or cross docking capability. Freight forwarding service. Freight forwarding service. It provides a point system to score green building design and construction. Lead certification. Lead certification. It's a certification because it provides a point system to score green building design and constructions, right? The products from a supplier are distributed directly to the customer or retail change with marginal, no handling or storage time. Cross docking capability. Cross -docking capability. Capability. And the last one, it's the one that sets up sets of procedures to recover and protect a business IT infrastructure in the event of a disaster. Disaster recovery plan. It's a disaster recovery plan, right? So in this case, right, the LEED certification, it's all the processes uh, that you have to accomplish for them to say, yes, it's good, go ahead and do it, right? You need a certification. Like in most of the things, for example, in English, we as teachers, we need to get a certification, right? We do an exam and everything, and we do a lot of processes and they say, yes, you can be a teacher because you are capable. If I go to Insafort, I have to do all this process and they say, yes, you are a facilitator and I am going to give you the level basic, intermediate, or advanced, right? And if you are lucky, you have the three of them, like me. <laughs> so it is it is something that, uh, for sure, it certifies you. ¿Con ustedes en su área de trabajo tienen algún tipo de certificación que los avale como lo que realizan? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. What is the type of certification that you do? Or that you get? Uh, construction um, card. Okay, you have a construction card. What other type of certification you have? The ISO teacher. The what? The ISO. The ISO, right? The ISO. Yeah, and you have different numbers, right? It yes. has it has yes. different uh, ISO is the is the more common thing. ISO. Teacher, uh, the uh, título universitario? Uh, well, the university, your, your diploma for sure, right? It certifies that you are what you are for sure, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. you don't buy those things, definitely. <laughs> yes, Christian? No, I don't know if the license is also, is also regarding of this, 
because in my work, uh, in in the operational the operational people uh, need to have a li a li license okay. uh, approval for federal regulation aviation. So, so that yeah, the, the permission they need to have all the well the license, the permission, and the documents that for sure gives you the permission or it makes you capable of doing something specific something yeah. as easy as this if you are a driver you need yeah, to be yeah. certified and you need to have your license for heavy duty for normal uh, uh, transportation even if you want to to drive a bus or a truck you need to have a specific type of license because if not you're not going to be with the liviana there in gran camion right no, no, it cannot be. Everything. And do you do you have a different one for a motorcycle in a car? Yes. So you see, so even for that, you need to be certified yeah. that yeah. you can do it. Yes. And for you the motorcycles, are there different licenses like Pesada, Liviana, or they are just motorcycles? Motorcycles. Motorcycle. 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 Okay. Desde Vespita hasta. <laughs> Harley oh. Davidson. <laughs> okay, good. So you see that it's a LEED certification and a recovery plan, right? A disaster recovery plan. It's like one of these things that ensures and for sure covers between in, in any situation, right? And for sure, in this case, in the recovery plan, it's what you do and how you act depending on a disaster, right? Imagine all these people whose houses were floating some weeks ago. Okay, imagine el, el, el centro comercial que se inundó. It needs to have a disaster recovery plan because it was like the Titanic there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a very horrible. So that was the, the, the different vocabulary that was regarding the final evaluation, right? It was this one. And for sure, it says, I can't tonight, but I certainly, or I am certain to come next time. Certain I am certain to? I certainly. I certainly come next time. Likely, likely. What about this one? Did you do this one already? They likelihood email rather than form, or they are likely to email rather than phone. They are likely. They are likely. They are likely to. They are. They are likely. To. What about the next one? It says sure. Aha! Uh -huh. I am I sure that sure. she will try her sure. best. That she will try her best to be. Okay, you can say I, I sure. surely know. I surely that she will. I am know. sure. I am sure. Chance. There is there a chance or there is a chance? There is a chance. There is a, there is there is a, a chance. chance. Right? There is a chance. Doubt. You say, I doubtly he will be back on by Friday, or I doubt he will. I doubt he will. I doubt, I doubt he, will. he will. I doubt he will be back on Friday, right? There you go. Aha. Uh -huh. You see, <laughs> I'm certain to. <laughs> <laughs> certainly no, right? I told you, I'm certain too. I said, no, teacher, certainly. I I'm certain, certain too. too. I am certain too, right? Si de repente siempre alguna vez les sale ahí mala, siempre vayan y eh, take it back, right? And for sure, in this one, you say, I wouldn't like to say this, but we might need to change our distributor. I wouldn't like to say this for certain, or it's very likely. What about this one here? I wouldn't like to, ser to say this. For certain. For certain. For certain. Because you for cannot certain. say, I wouldn't like to say this, it is very likely, but no, right? For Did the managers finish evaluating the three PLs available? Not in my knowledge or not to my knowledge. Not, not to, to my, my knowledge. knowledge. Not, not to, to my knowledge. knowledge, right? Not to my knowledge, right? My the knowledge. next one. 
Doubt it, doubt it, it is effective to hire more than one third party logistics service. Or I doubt it is effective. I doubt. Huh? I doubt. I doubt. I doubt it is effective. You doubt, I doubt, doubt it. I don't know. Let's see. I doubt. I doubt. I doubt. Because it doesn't have sense, David. <laughs> it. David. It. David. It. <laughs> like the like this. It, it, it. What is this animal that it's in? It, it, it's a very famous green animal. I like the Yoda. Yoda thing. Doubt yeah, it, it is. Stranger <laughs> things. Doubt it, it is effective. <laughs> and what about the next one? Number four. Yeah. To the best of my knowledge, we have increased customer satisfaction, or not to my knowledge, we have increased customer satisfaction. To the best, to the of, best my knowledge. of my knowledge. Of my knowledge. For a small knowledge. company to require logistic global services, it is very unlikely, or as far as I know, it's very unlikely. It's very, it's unlikely. very unlikely. unlikely. It's like, no, es muy probable, like right? It. it is very, it's very unlikely. Yeah, I doubt. It's like, doubt it, it is effective. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. When you say to the best of my knowledge, it's like we have increased customer satisfaction. Like para mi alegría. It is very unlikely, right? No es muy poco probable. No es muy común to for a small company to require logistics global services. Do you think that these little stores that are near your house require logistics services? <laughs> very unlikely. It is very unlikely, right? That you say like maybe Niña Mari there on the tiendita, she's not going to have <laughs> all, the, all the all the global services there in creating the logistics. Like, Niña Mari, necesitamos churros. Estamos cayendo aquí en la producción de churros. Necesitamos tres tiras más. <laughs> right? We'll be like, no, right? We don't need. It, right? I think we need more churros. We are running out of churros here. Because Niña Mari is studying in English Corporativo and she's learning English. So she requires <laughs> logistics in English. And so this is the part and the first one, right? It's the one that we have been studying and we cover it today at the beginning of the class. The process of supplying goods to stores and other businesses that sell to consumers is? Distribution. Distribution. <laughs> The network created amongst different companies producing and distributing product. Supply chain. Supply chain. The ongoing process of moving parts and products into and out of a company's location. Inventory management. Inventory yeah. management. Management. Very good. The coordination of an operation involving many people, facilities, or supplies. Distribution and um, the process of keeping no, something in good condition, <laughs> it is maintaining. Maintain, this this one is distribution. Distribution, no, no, distribution. Logistic no, no, no. Is no. For, for, for logistics, logistics. yeah, yeah, logistics, right? right? <laughs> People, we just started, se lo, se lo estudiamos a Jorge Humberto y el nomás que venimos. So, I'm not, I'm not sure about. I, I doubt now it's correct. Okay, so these are the midterm exams. So please um, go in and check if you have everything completed, right? Les invito a que vayan, revisen que ya los completaron todos. Ya vemos cómo es el proceso, ya vemos cómo es las, las opciones y todo. So please go and check that you have everything correct, right? Today is Thursday. You can do it tomorrow during the day. During the day, not at midnight, right? No al filo del peligro. No los quiero al filo de la adrenalina haciendo las cosas al último segundo. I want to sleep on it. <laughs> I, I, I need to think over, over the pillow, right? I need to sleep on it. And I need to consider it a little bit. So uh, here we go. Okay. That was our platform. Se lo dije ayer. Ahora vamos a revisar la plataforma para que no anden corriendo el día viernes. Okay. So, after the platform, we're going to do a little bit of sharing. We're going to say read, think, and share. Yesterday, we started this new section in our class. It's read, think, and share. And today, I brought three questions. The first question that we have, Mr. Jorge Humberto, what is it? What are some 
some things that could improve the economy in your country. Uh -huh. Question talk, number two. Talk about when you were given bad service at a place, restaurant, or office. Uh -huh. And the last one. Where were you first exposed to English? Where were you first exposed to English? I mean, the, the moment that you were first exposed to it, that you had to talk. There's no way out, right? You had to talk and you had to talk. And it was like, okay. I remember that the first time that I was exposed to English, I was 11 years old. And there was an American friend who needed help. And there was no one to help him. And I was, I knew English, but I was like, I, I don't want to talk, right? And he needed help because he needed something. And nobody in the place uh, knew English. So they didn't understand what he was asking. And I said, I know, I understand. And if I don't help him, it will be on my conscience forever. <laughs> and I said like, Hey, Brian needs this and this and this and he's asking for this and this to my mother and she said like you come on <laughs> and I said like yes <laughs> that's what he needs and my mother offered him what he needed and he was so happy that you cannot imagine <laughs> I was exposed to English and I said like eh, it's very nice I say it, it is good you can do it right it's like Christia today that she was exposed to the English language at her meeting and she had to do it and she felt comfortable with it so these are the three questions that we're going to discuss today we're going to take one so this decide which question are you going to be developing and we are going to work on this one with your group we are going to have trios today you are going to work with three classmates and you are going to discuss one of the questions it can be the same i don't know or it can be different ones but you are going to be in trios today. Yesterday we were groups of five. Today we're going to be in trios and you are going to discuss one of the questions. So choose the one that you prefer and create a little bit on your answer, right? Brainstorm a little bit of your answer. Siempre recuerden hacer algunas cuantas notas para cuando ya lleguemos a la participación no lleguemos. Um, what can I tell you? Uh, let me think. Um, mm, mm, and in this process, you spend like the five minutes of the group work, right? So try to have some ideas, organize uh, some of your sentences, a sketch a little bit your answer. And we are going to work on this in mini groups. I am going to work on the groups right now. Let me see. I'm going to create them. And let's see. Yes, I have the perfect number of groups. Okay. And we are going to go. Do you have your question? Ya tienen la pregunta que van a ir a, a discutir? Yes. Take, uh, Teacher, yeah. it's a uh, one question per per uh, person. <laughs> yes, I mean I am going to have you in groups, but if yeah. you want to discuss the three questions, that's okay. If you want to express uh -huh. your your idea on the three questions, that's mm -hmm. okay. But mm -hmm. I am asking you to work on one, right? For example, if imagine that Jorge, Rocio, and Juan are working mm -hmm. together. Maybe Jorge is going to talk about uh, the things that he can, that he thinks he can do to improve the economy. Maybe you are mm -hmm. going to talk about your first experience with English and Juan de Dios can talk about his first experience in English as well, right? It is not mm -hmm. necessarily that you have different, but it's the one that you feel comfortable uh, with, oh, okay? okay? And if you okay. want to talk about the tree, no problem. Okay, <laughs> okay so let's you. let's go let's go and do it right now. Go ahead. Okay. Accept my invitation, please.
Thank you. Thank you, Yvette. You're going to receive the invitation. Sorry, teacher. Are you here? I was. I was about to leave. <laughs> there you go. Hi. I was about to leave to the groups. Uh, wait, which group were you? You were in group number two, right? Yes. Please. Oh, okay. Here I send you right now. There Thank you go. You. Ah, your audio. It's true. <laughs> Okay. So as the students are developing their answers, we're going to go and check how they are doing in the different groups. Now that all the students that were here are assigned, we can go and check. Let's go. Hello, group. Hi, teacher. What questions are you discussing? Um, we chose. We chose. Good. <laughs> one question for one, per each. For per each. One person. Okay. You and say. I take uh -huh. the. Uh, the last. Okay. Okay. <coughs> so uh, go ahead. Uh, create your answers and practice. I'm going to come back in a second. Todo lo que terminan de ordenarse las ideas. I am going to check on group number two. I will come back. Okay. No, you let it. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, no worries. Um, I finished. You finished. ¿Qué estaba contando? Uh, that the first time I was supposed to speak English, I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a very good English then. <laughs> it was very clear. Yes, I think so. <laughs> yeah, I, it, it is curious that the, I have a friend that is very shy. He is very shy, but uh, shy as you cannot imagine. But when, once he gets like two or three shots, <laughs> he's very fluent in English, yeah. in French, in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> so it helps. Yeah. It helps. In, indeed, it helps. <laughs> That later on, when you watch the videos, it doesn't help that much because you don't mm -hmm. understand that. Yeah, it's cool. But it's cool that you were exposed to English. What about Miguel and Normita? What questions were you discussing? Uh, the same uh, question for me, teacher. Uh, where, where were your first exposed? And um, my case is um, first grade. Um, and I'm not in an exposition for a poem. Um, oh, in a presentation. Yeah. 
Yes, many nervous. <laughs> I think I. Well, it's a mat. <laughs> you think you did it wrong, right? Yeah. So it yeah. was in an English presentation, right? In an English presentation. Good. Yes. Then let me About see. Exploring, exploring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it, it is nice because you remember it, right? And many other students didn't do it. So it is very rewarding. Mr. Miguel? Okay, in my case, uh... Uh, where were you first exposed to English? To, uh, in my case, in my high school, uh, uh, so nervous, uh, uh, <laughs> um, but uh, my brain uh, stopped for a moment in this space. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> The, uh, you were like uh, restarting the process, right? In uh, some cases, when when you are not prepared, over. yeah, when oh, you are oh. when you are not prepared, and then you say like, okay, speak, and you're like, and you for don't one moment, for one moment, my brain game over. <laughs> <laughs> you, you lost the game, right? You lost the game. Yeah. yeah, the same the same thing happened when when I went to my first job interview that they had me there speaking in English for two hours. And I was like, what, two hours? But then I, I was very worried at the beginning because they say like, Mira, and they're going to talk for you with, the, well, you are going to be like two hours there in the, in the meeting and all that. And I was just 17 years old, right? And I was like very young. And, <laughs> and then, oh, what a beautiful cat. Oh my God, what a big cat. Yes. She's a girl. What a what a she looks like a mini like a mini lion. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's very beautiful. Thank so you. they told me, no, 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 go, go to the meeting. And then when I arrived to the to the interview, it was very nice. And in the end, and I was like, ah. and I was worried because of this. And so we were talking about different things. And, and then they say, Okay, here's your book, here's your things, and everything go to work. And I was like, really <laughs> yeah I was not expecting it but it, that was my first time that I was exposed to to one of these very formal things so continue discussing my dear class I'm going to go to the last group okay thank you okay did you finish yes teacher I have a problem with my antenna Ah, yes, I saw it that you were going back and forth, but you yeah. came back, thank God. Thank uh, God. I, I have to change uh, uh, my cell phone. Yes, in some cases it is the, like the company, it is the place where you are sitting, it is like the, the antenna, how many people are using the internet at that moment, that affects a lot. Right? How many people are using internet in your house right now? All of them, or only you? My mother too. Uh -huh. So maybe she's watching, I don't know, a movie or something, and that affects your internet. Yeah, yeah. because one day I was like, hey, I, and my, my internet is not working, and my connection and everything. And my my little kid was watching movies. <laughs> Netflix. Oh, now, yeah, yeah, there was another day that he was playing online, and I was like, My internet and my internet doesn't work. And <laughs> it was him, he was eating all the internet. <laughs> so that's why it, it affects, right? Así que tal vez lo que estaba viendo el otro le estaba bajando la calidad al suyo. Okay, good, my dear class, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay, all the students are going to come back in a moment.
I'm not sure if I press the button to, to be here, but I was talking with Humberto. <laughs> <laughs> and I hey. let him talk. Oh my god! Hey people! No, the, this the gives you this gives you like some seconds for you to close, where you have like one minute yeah. to. <laughs> it, it was an accident. It was like, because I close. Went to, I, no, I went to share cancel to 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 to, to watch him to watch him. Complete, hey. it's a complete stream. <laughs> I, I imagine that I pressed the button to be here right now. <laughs> But cancel, sorry, cancel. Humberto. I'm sorry. Jorge Humberto was like, yeah, tell me more. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm sorry. Yeah, he was in the middle of the gossip there and he didn't finish. Why, teacher? No, because because Rocio says that she was sharing something important with you, and then instead of clicking cancel, she clicked OK to I leave. Click OK. Well, maybe me, my internet is so bad. No, no I yeah. need to talk in a lot. Yeah, poor Jorge was talking by himself there. <laughs> okay. Did any of you did any of you talk about a moment on which you receive a bad service at a restaurant, a place, or an office? Yes, yes my partner. That was my example. Yes. <laughs> okay, so tell me a little bit, Cristia. What did he say? Did he say that when uh, he visited uh, his favorite restaurant because he like uh, he really likes the Chinese food Chinese, Chinese food, food uh -huh. and uh, he he make an he made an order and 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 get a lot of dishes that they that he want to eat but uh, in this at this moment he was very hungry mm -hmm. and when uh, how do you say probar? when he tastes when and he tastes taste, taste the because first it's past dish. tasty uh -huh. okay when he tasted the the first dish uh, the food was very salty ah oh. yes Ish. and he got angry and called uh, the waitress and said hey my food is very salty i can't eat that because i don't like this is is i don't know how do you say it incomible <laughs> <laughs> it's uneatable it's uneatable yes and that's the experience of of my partner who was your partner Emmanuel antonio mr manuel poor manuel <laughs> yes. with the experience of the salty food Yes. Okay, and who else? It was like Jorge. It was your example, you say. Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, tell me about it. It was about 10 years ago. I was visiting my uncle in Washington, D.C. And, and I, I want to buy for my... For my... For my... Uh, Nice nephew. Niece, niece is a girl. Nephew is a boy. Nephew. I want to buy to my nephew a, a CD, a CD, a play for PlayStation 4. A game. A game for PlayStation. And I can maybe explain what I wanted to, to buy. And the seller didn't. Be patient. Be patient. <laughs> he wasn't me. patient. He wasn't patient with me, and he he just told me, "I don't understand. What do you want?" And and he he go out. He oh, went uh, out. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, ah, "I'm sorry. Uh, I don't get what you want. Um, bye." <laughs> yeah, but but I think it's because in in Washington the people are very i don't know they don't want to help to, to other people in other states like los angeles miami or other miami uh-huh they 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 are very like warm and nice and they and they help a lot right well 
But in the end, did you get the game or not? No, teacher. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, well, that was so sad. <laughs> okay, and let's see. Did any of you talk about some of the things that we can do to improve the economy of our country? No? Yeah, you went through the personal yeah. questions, right? <laughs> what what are the what are some of the things that we could do to improve our economy, people? What do you think? I was thinking about the improve the education. The, to improve the, edu the, the educate the quality of education. Good. Maybe if we grow our own food <laughs> again, right? instead of getting <laughs> from other countries right because in the past we used to grow a lot of things right corn and beans and rice and many things right but now we we tend to to import uh, things from other countries right the cheese for example was something produced mainly here in el salvador and now we buy it from nicaragua from other countries right so I think we, we could produce more. We could produce more and we could improve our economy. Well, because in the case of the vegetables, well, in my case, I have all these things like cilantro. I have a, all, all these herbs that you use for cooking. I have them on the garden. And I just go and get it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, I, my father has tomatoes there also. I have a very but, small thing, but... But that like, product were from Guatemala, maybe. <laughs> no, I have them in my garden. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, I have a little a little garden there. Ah, yeah, okay. it's like, I cilantro, necesito tu cilantro, go to the garden. I say. <laughs> ah, una hierba buena, go to the yeah. garden. Right. No, the, the other one. <laughs> the teacher cell. Shh, shh. I have I have my my farmers market here now with three tomatoes right not even one dollar I don't have even one dollar of tomatoes well but that is something that we could do any other idea that we could do to improve our economy yeah uh, yes I in my case I agree with that with that um, solution I could be remembering that because I think we in the schools, the high schools, uh, they can um, learn people how to use, for example, the credit cards to have benefits and also ways to save money or ways to invest your money. And uh, because the, the most, popular common is to save money at bank but the the in, interest is the very in, the interest uh -huh. the interest uh, is very short high it, yeah and you or or high um, high or short depending on yeah if when i'm talking about save money it's short. It's short. When you are talking about yeah. spending and charging. Yeah. Right? Exactly. That's the point. So uh, they can uh, teach uh, the, the young people how to uh, save money at other uh, organizations that give you uh, more, uh, more benefits. Uh, interest. What hey. more benefits interest. Hey, that's pretty nice. So Rocio, Rocio Veronica for president. <laughs> Mr. Manuel, tell me. Teacher, in the last last copy. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, this one, this one. Thank you. Uh, the thing that could improve the economy in your country. Uh, also motivate the use, the use of Bicycles, because I, in my case, when I have to to go, for example, one place is nearly near. I, I, near. I, I use a bicycle on my daughter. <laughs> well, that's cool, right? So to to, to improve. Uh, 
petrol or gasoline gas okay you don't spell you don't spend gas right good so to improve your economy and to improve your in to improve your pocket right for sure because you're not going to be spending more that's pretty nice i was checking on diana's cut <laughs> that was very beautiful <laughs> I was listening to Manuel thinking about the bicycles and then I saw the cat and I was like, oh. Sorry, was... I have four cars. Uh, wow, four. Ah, yes. oh, what a beautiful thing. I love the white one. Miss Tatiana, tell me. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. I was working. I'm sorry, but Don't I'm worry. here. <laughs> uh, I think, well, I try to buy at supermarket everything about full and I try to uh, cook and eat the, the same food at work and and that's I I don't have to buy food outside in, outside yes yeah, so that's a way it, to improve your economy definitely yes because if you think about it if you buy food outside every day it's two dollars fifty three dollars imagine per week per month yeah. So it's, it's a lot of work and a lot of money. Yeah. The one that you spent. Hey, thank you. That's a very good tip, right? In some cases we say, I know, okay, okay, cansado, me voy a levantar temprano. It's better. It's better than spending a lot of money outside. Good for the three, read, think and share moment. Very good. A clap for everybody for all the, the um, ideas that you shared. So as I told you before, we are going to discuss a little bit of inbound and outbound logistics, right? And as we explained, inbound logistics are all these, um, and I have here the definition, I'm going to share it with you, is the way materials and other goods are brought into a company. It's the process for sure includes the steps to order, receive, store, transport, and manage incoming supplies. Inbound logistics focuses on the supply part of the supply demand equation, right? Inbound logistics are all the materials and other goods that are brought into a company, right? All the things that you need. For the inbound logistic activities, I have some here uh, presented. I have, for example, the sourcing and procurement. What is the meaning of this? Can you help me to read it? Identifying and evaluating. Identifying and evaluating potential suppliers, obtaining price quotes, negotiation with uh, managing suppliers. Okay. Suppliers. Negotiating. 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 Negotiation, you say. Hey, as Negotiating. You say, no <laughs> Negotiating, <laughs> with Negotiating and managing and managing suppliers. suppliers. Identifying, Identify right? Identifying. Identify. 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 No, we say identifying and evaluating Identify. potential suppliers, obtaining price quotes, negotiating with and managing suppliers. What about ordering and purchasing? Buying the goods and the company the right quantity arrives at the right time. Buying the goods and materials the company needs so the right quality arrives at the right time. Very good. It says uh, buying all the things that your company needs, right? All the things you are ordering and purchasing. Because in order for you to create the products, you need materials, right? For you to do it. What about the transportation? Yes, I mean, deciding where to use a drop, airplane, train, or another method, method of good. 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 Activity, activity, or also it involves the activity, or also the good. activity also involves selecting delivery speed for incoming supplies, contracting with third-party carriers, and working with vendors or price and roads. Price and route. Yeah. So all the transportation, all the transportation of materials, it is not just because, right? There are many companies who have to ask for this type of materials uh, outside the country, in some cases overseas, 
because you need to bring the materials from uh, the other side of the world, for example, in some cases. And transportation involves all this, right? Because imagine that you, that, I don't know, that you make, uh, what? That you make cheese, for example, uh, to sell it. You need to find a way to get the milk, to get the products and everything if you don't have the cow in your house, right? So you have to look for a provider. You have to look for a supplier in this case, right? And you have to know how the transportation is going to be, if it's going to be in a very cool place, right? It's going to be a correct truck, right? With the correct temperature, right? It's not going to be just the milk yet there on cover, right? No, right? <laughs> because you need good products, good quality, good service, and for sure that everything matches the price and for sure the needs that you have. And what about receiving? What is it about? Handling the arrival of new materials. They match the order. What is the first thing that you do when you receive a shipment of different products? Do you just say thank you very much and you close the door? No. No. What no. is the first thing that you do? We check it. First, you check, we check. Right? We check. First, the you check the correct product. The correct product, the correct amount, the correct price, and the correct quantity, right? This involves all the rights that we started at the beginning of the week, right? Do you remember? Se acuerdan de todas las R's que estudiamos? Aquí hacemos el match con esto. So it has to match all the R's of uh, logistics, the right? Hours. The seven R's, for sure. We have also here some other vocabulary related to the inbound logistics, right? Okay, there you go. Here we have. And it is material handling. Material handling. It is moving the received goods short distances with the facility and staging them for later use. It's, for example, when you receive the products, when you check them and everything, you put them in their correct place. Where are you going to store the products, people? What is the name of that place? Super. Uh -huh. Where do you store the products? Uh, where do you keep them? In your factory. What is the name of that place? ¿Cómo se llama ese lugar donde guardan todos sus productos? Bodega. In English? I don't know. Warehouse. The warehouse. The warehouse, right? The warehouse. Okay, put away. Moving goods from the receiving dock to a storage. A staff puts everything away in assigned locations, right? Every product has its own place. If you receive, for example, office material, are you going to throw it to the warehouse? Yeah. <laughs> no, you take it to the office because in the office you have a specific storage room, right? In the office. <laughs> And in the office, for example, you have a storage room. El, en las bodeguitas que hay en las oficinas se llaman storage rooms. Okay, sí. the warehouse is a big place, right? The storage room, it's a, a mini room that you have. What sure. about, yes? And put away is the same uh, as I said, allocate. Um, allocate, yes, but in this case, the put away is the action. Ah, okay. Okay. The, the put away, it's like the action of moving things. It's like put all these things away. You say the put away. Okay. It's like, uh -huh. todo esto. Pongamelo por allá. Right. like when you come from the supermarket. Okay. And it's like, okay, bye, niña. put away everything <laughs> that they have to go and store it in the correct place. Right. It's like, I'm mama. And you clean everything. Okay. Like at the beginning with COVID. Right? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. ¿Se acuerdan cómo limpiábamos todo al principio del COVID? Oh, yes. I still do. <laughs> I still clean everything. Invent, uh, sorry, storing and warehousing. What does it refer? Managing the materials before they 
Go to the manufacturing or customer fulfillment. This department is responsible of making sure items are placed in logical location for a fulfillment and the right storage condition are met. Very good, right? Storing and warehousing. You manage the materials, right? You manage the material before they go to the manufacturing or the customer because you need to have an inventory management of all these things that you receive. It's not like how many how many boxes did we receive? Um, a lot. <laughs> like, like, how many? Like a thousand. Uh, yeah, I think. I think I am not sure about, okay? I am on the fence with the number, but I guess it was like 2000, you say. You cannot be inventing numbers, at least not in production processes or logistics. You have to be sure about even the last pen that you receive it has to be on the inventory. Everything, every single thing has to be in the inventory management. For sure that it's deciding the type and amount of raw materials or items you should store and where to locate them, right? Here, I will send you the inventory management guide to read more. Expediting, right? Managing the process of and schedule materials as they make their way to your facility, right? It's like when you decide where you are going to use each thing. Distribution sending the supplies to their destinations inside the business, right? That you know that this is for process, this is for logistic, this is for the office, this is for the manager. So you know who is going to receive what and tracking. That is checking on details about incoming orders such as their locations and documents like receipts, like what Olga was mentioning at the beginning of the class, that she has to take care of every single thing, yes? Yeah. The, the facility is bigger than the warehouse. The facilities is all the place, right? When you talk about the facilities, it's Include all the, the building. The warehouse is part of the facilities. Okay. For example, if you go to, I don't know, maybe Metro Centro, mm -hmm. the facilities of Metro Centro, it's everything, 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 all the different stages. Right, and maybe the warehouse is on the uh, I don't know underground, but but we never know. Right? But the facilities is all the place. And when you use facility, and when you use building, well, the facilities it's like, for example, if you are like in a factory that you have the different places, que tiene como las oficinas, el área de producción, el área de entrada, el área de the, right, you have the building, the warehouse, you have the parking, all the facilities, right? That's the facilities. And the building is just one thing, one house, right? That's a building. You can say like, go to the building. Like imagine if you are going near Salvador del Mundo and you are looking for a specific building there that it's full of crystals, right? <laughs> That's a building. But that's the facilities for a place, right? Si ya lo junta todos, todas las oficinas y todo, it's the facilities. But just the place, it's the building. Okay? Did I answer your question? Good. And in the case of outbound logistics. Eso. Okay, it is. <laughs> ya, ya estuvo. <laughs> Yo creo que un perrito se nos está ahogando ahí en alguna casa. <laughs> no sé. <laughs> I felt like in a TikTok. <laughs> Casas. Not in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Estamos todos en clase y sin dejar caer una sola gota de vocabulario. ¿Qué es eso? <laughs> in the dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, people who are watching this video in a recording method. <laughs> it was a dog. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if you are watching this video outside of Inglés Corporativo, it was a dog. Okay, let's continue learning. <laughs> what is outbound logistics? Outbound logistics, for sure, is the uh, it focuses on the demand side of the supply demand equation right the process involves storing and moving goods 
to the customer or end user. The steps include order fulfillment, packaging, shipping, delivering, and customer service related to the delivery, right? In this case, you are not producing the product. You are not inventing or creating the product. You are just delivering it to the corresponding person who is going to receive it, right? Imagine if you uh, sell cakes, right? Or if you sell cupcakes. In this process, you are going to sell the cupcakes done to the customer. It's not like, ahí le va la harina, ahí va un huevo, ahí va esto, ahí lo hace. No, right? It is the process of sending the product to the person in the final, uh, the final to the final destination, right? That is the outbound logistics. And vocabulary related to this, for sure, we have the warehouse and storage management. This is a, a bit big, so I am going to read it for everybody. And in this one, it says, the warehouse and storage management. In this case, a company keeps a certain quantity of goods on hand to meet them, right? Inbound and outbound logistics overlap in warehouse management, but outbound logistics deals with outgoing finished products. For companies that sell finished products, they receive from suppliers. Inbound logistics concentrates on product acquisition and outbound logistics fulfills orders sent straight to customers and distributes the products to retail outlets. So in this case, the outbounding is to take out uh, finished products. And the inventory that you manage here is different, right? Because you don't manage the inventory of the things that you need to make the product, but on the contrary, how much product you have. And for sure, in this case, you need to have a specific software for you to manage the inventory because you are not going to have a lot of pages and paper, right? Is it like el inventario? Ahí en esas páginas en blanco. No, right? You oh, need boy. to have a software. You need to have it all in detail in the computer for you to know if you send a group of uh, products, then how many products are still left in the inventory. The transportation, how are you going to ship the products? How are you going to send the products to the customers? And for sure, huge items like heavy machinery my ship in a small order quantities by truck, right? In some cases, if you buy thousands of cupcakes, eh, it's not going to be on, on little bicycles that you are going to receive them, right? No, you, they need to have a truck to take them to you, right? They have to be refrigerated. They have to be transported according to the needs of the product, right? And for sure, the delivery is important because you have to meet it on time as we were talking on the right time delivery and the distribution channels, as we were studying at the beginning of the classes, how are you going to reach your customer, right? How are you going to distribute? How are you going to organize this type of the logistic, right? You can sell it directly to the customer. You can use retailers. You can use a wholesaler, right? How are you going to do it? What type of channels are you going to use? This is the final step of the distribution process. Okay. Is it clear the difference between inbound and outbound? Uh, I have a question, teacher. Yes. Yeah. When inbounding uh, finished and start the outbounding? Well, indeed, it is like um, it is like a big process, and I think it doesn't stop that much, because when you create the inbound logistics, right, you create products and everything for you to take out to the market. But what happens when you take the products out to the market? They outbounding. Uh, they pay you back, right? You receive money. What do you use the money for? Sorry, repeat, please. Okay. In the inbounding, you receive the things to create your products, right? And finish then, in the facility. Well, it finishes in this process. Maybe, as I was telling you, it doesn't finish because it is like a never ending because it, it's going back and forth because mm -hmm. you take the product from your company to the customer. The customer gives you the money. He With the money, you buy more product 
And then you start the process again, right? Right. It's a never ending process. It is like in and out okay. because you are selling, you are receiving money, you are getting more, you are producing more, you are selling again. And that it's a never ending situation. It is like when you are investing, right? You might think that the, the, the line of your product is going to finish on the customer when yeah. they get the product, but no, because you receive the money and then you start the process again. So yeah. I think it's, it's, it's nonstop. Well, from my point of view, yeah. right? but if, if you sell tamales only one Saturday, it will finish in the customer, <laughs> in the consumer. So based on this, we are going to go and you are going to tell me about it, right? Before we go to this activity, uh, Manuel, what are we going to do right now? Take attendance. The attendance. Ah. <laughs> hey, Manuel, ¿qué pasó? Uh, all the teacher. Es, es, usted es mi... Ajá. Usted es mi... Uh, mi... Mi, el que me recuerda de la attendance. ¿Qué pasó? Que faltan cinco. <laughs> That's cool. Because I always call it at 9.40. At 9.40 and it's 9.36. Ay, ay. No, it's because this activity is a little bit longer. This activity is a bit longer than, than, um, than 10 minutes. Let's see. But I'm going to call the attendance before we start because you're going to work on this one. And then we are going to work on uh, this little project. Carolina Yamilet. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maria. Present teacher. Christian Adeli. Present teacher. Diana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Carlos. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Rodrigo. Jose Rodrigo. Jose Rodrigo, where are you? Hey, Jose Rodrigo, ¿qué andaba? ¿Qué pasó? Se me fue al más allá. ¿Qué pasó? Al más acá. En Juan de Dios. Present. Linda y Beth. Linda. Ok. Eh, Miguel, Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. María Genoveva. Miguel Ángel. Mr. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Thank Perdón, you very present. much. Don't worry, don't worry. Eh, Nelson. Present teacher. Norma. Present teacher. Olga. Present teacher. Rocío Verónica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Rosita Beatriz. Rosita, Rosita. Hey, Rosita. Another one. I lost Rosita. Eh, Tatiana Michelle. Present teacher. Vilma. Ah, oh, Yvette, sorry. Ay. <laughs> Yvette. Eh, Marlene. Marlene Nicole. Marlene, Marlene, eh, okay. Omar sent me a message that he is sick. And Danny Anthony, that didn't come today. Ay, Danny, 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 Danny. Okay, so thank and you very Silvia much. Suleima, Silvia Suleima, hey, didn't I call your name, Silvia? Hey. Rosa Beatriz, Silvia Suleima. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, Silvia. Tatiana Vilma, yes, I call you out. I am missing only Maria Genoveva, Linda that uh, was here, but she left and I don't know, Linda didn't arrive. And let me see, Jose Rodrigo that was here, but he's not here anymore. Okay, good. The last activity that we have for the day, and it is, uh, tell me about it. Tell me about it. We're going to create and discuss a little bit. What are we going to do? The students, we are going to have our restaurant, right? You are going to think that we have 
our own restaurant, right? We have our own restaurant. You are going to work with the same uh, people you were working in the groups, and you are going to create the inbound and outbound logistic process of your restaurant. Okay, where are you going to get your products? Where are you going to buy them? Are you going to buy them in a different country, in the market, in the supermarket? How are you going to get the products for you to create your food? And for sure, how is going to be your outbound process of logistics? How are you going to take your food to the public? What is the process that you are going to be following? So you have to invent something short, okay? Not that much detail, but I need you to explain a little bit on what is the process that you are going to have. All of you are going to have different restaurants, right? You can decide if, either if you want to have uh, desserts, if you want to have a, a specific type of food, uh, pizzas, hamburgers, I don't know. How are you going to create your inbound and outbound logistic process? You are going to discuss with your group, you're going to discuss how are you going to get your material? How are you going to storage? How are you going to create the process of the product? And how are you going to take the product to the customers, the final destination of your product, okay? You're going to invent a little process, right? Or inbound and outbound logistics of your restaurant. Okay, we're going to work a little bit on logistics right now. With your group, you're going to work in the same group that you had before. And we are going to be discussing. I think it's going, I am going to make the group a little bit bigger so you can have more ideas there. Let me remake the groups. I am going to make the groups again and I am going to have only four. Yes, so I have groups of four and five people. Okay, let's go to work right now. I am going to be visiting you for more details, okay? Go ahead. Teacher. Yes? <laughs> I have invited for two groups. Okay, I am going to uh, accept one and then I'm going to move you. Just okay. let me know which one. Both group. <laughs> the two of them. <laughs> which one are you going to accept, Christia? You are in, let me see, group one. I am going to take Christia to group one. Okay. There you go. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Silvita and Norma. Did you receive the invitations? Yes. I don't see a teacher. Okay, good. Ah, I can kick it. Okay. Silvita, did you receive the invitation? There you go. Thank you very much. And Silvia. Silvia, Silvia, do you have the invitation? Hello, Silvita. There you go. Now, students are going to put into practice the details that we have been studying. They are going to be developing um, a little logistic process for the process for inbound and outbound uh, logistics. How are they going to get the materials? How are they going to uh, work with them? And how are they going to take the product to the final consumer? Let's go and check in the different groups, how they are organizing. I will give them some seconds for them to organize in the groups. I will have four groups presenting after they finish working, okay? So let's go to the rooms. have some idea. 
Hi. Hi. Hi, teacher. What is it going to be a restaurant about? Mexican food. Mexican, Mexican food. Hey, good. Great. Do you want you... a burrito? <laughs> yes. Mexican food and drink. Mexican food and drinks. Mexican drinks as well. <laughs> yes. I love burritos. What I like the most from Mexican food is uh, the birria. Oh, wow. The birria is very nice. Yes, I love I love to cook it. Yes. it. It takes a long process to cook it, but I, I like to do it. It's a long cooking process, but it's very good. In the end. I like quesadillas. Oh, quesadillas are good. I love it. Gringos. Gringas. And gringas. The food, right? The food. You like the food, right? <laughs> if not, Miguel's wife is going to be like, ah, really? Do you like the gringas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be like, ah, me la gringas me usan, teachers. Yeah, the food. <laughs> Let's see, Mr. Jose Carlos, what is your favorite Mexican dish? Mm, most of them. Most of them. Oh, well. burrito, la gringas, everything. Tacos like are very good. All, all of them. Yes. I love them. No, okay, no so uno, no, no you don't have preferido. a favorite. Si todo, de todo, pero, no pasa nada. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Okay, so discuss how are you going to get your products? How are you going to, if you're going to get fresh produce, if you're going to go to the supermarket, if you're going to order it with local farmers, yeah, if you are going to grow your own products, right? I don't know. How are you going to do it? So discuss with your group and organize your idea. I will come back in a second. Okay. Yeah. And the brochures, the brochure, radio, TV, anyway. Okay. Um, it's different type for for other. It's types, about the incoming. Perdón. Inbound. Inbound and outbound. Inbound and outbound. Mm -hmm. Inbound. The teacher said is. Uh, it's both oh, things. Food. What are what are you going to? What type of restaurant are you going to have? Chinese food, teacher. Chinese, <laughs> no salty. Why not salty? Why buy it? It's a nice. big quality. Big quality of food. Hey, Mr. Rodrigo, I called hey. the attendance already. Ya pasé lista y no lo había. Probably my computer. So, Zoom. Up. Jose Rodrigo Hernández. Okay. Presente, is <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so uh, in the inbound process, you have to decide how are you going to get your products, if you are going to get them in the market with local farmers, in the supermarket, if you are going to order it. How are you going to This is already decided. Okay, and in the outbounding? Outbound. This is this is the the, the, the much more more big process. The big a bigger process. A bigger process. Okay. Because you need to decide how to keep your inventory, uh, how you are going to keep track of your products, how are you going to distribute them, um, how are you going to get the products to the customers. This is the next step. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I for sure I am going to go out to your, to the restaurant to buy it. Yeah, <laughs> with your family. Okay, very good. I am going to go and check group number three. Uh, hello, hello. Is, uh, hello. We will check right out. I did the cheese. What type, is, what type of restaurant going, do you have? Uh, fast a food. restaurant of a hamburger. A hamburger restaurant. A hamburger yeah. restaurant. Yes. Hamburger oh. restaurant. Okay, nice. Where are you going to get your products? Mm, some of uh, them we are going to fabricate or elaborate. Okay, we're going to elaborate. Uh huh. Elaborate. What products are you going to elaborate? The bread, bread, the bread, hey, very nice, fresh, 
fresh and from... a special bread. <laughs> indeed, indeed, the bread that you prepare, it's even more delicious than the one that you buy anywhere. Yeah. So I learned how to make it on the pandemic. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes, because I didn't want to buy anything on the street. I learned how to make bread. At the beginning, it was very horrible, but later on, it was good. My wife uh, do but the it's same. Difficult. It is a very difficult. I think it's we had in difficult. the... In the pandemic, the... We, we had all these stages, right? Tuvimos la etapa panadero, la etapa pastelero, la etapa cocinero, la etapa eh, crazy cleaner. <laughs> Yo odio como huele la levadura. Yeah, it, it has a very horrible smell. Yes. But it is amazing to see how it grows. Yes, that's true. So you are going to make your bread. And the yes. other products, where are you going to get them? What are you going to get the other products? Maybe uh, we're going to buy. You are going to buy them. Good. At uh, the local market or in the supermarket? Supermarkets. In the supermarket. The meat and cheese. The milk and uh -huh. the vegetable, the vegetable are pending to the spouse. <laughs> okay, discuss where you're going to get the vegetables. I am going to go to the last room. Okay, I will go and see if they need help. Okay, okay, I need to charge my computer. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to go to room four. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We are three chefs. Hi, teacher. Hello. Yeah. What, is... type of, what type of restaurant do I have here? Uh, a bakery. Bakery. Yeah, bakery. A bakery. Yeah, bakery. <laughs> a bakery. That's cool. That's so yeah. nice. The name okay. is Diana's. Diana's Bakery. It's my bakery. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so she's the boss. <clears throat> Uh, Diana. <laughs> no, she is the boss. I <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure, she is Diana. She is the boss. <laughs> employees. <laughs> you are the, the the humble employees, right? Diana and three employees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> employees. employees. <laughs> okay. Give me give me one second. I am going to I am going to uh, help <laughs> Sylvia. I will come back in a second. Okay. 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 Hello, Silvita. What group are you in? Mm, I think number one, teacher. With uh, Claudia, Jose Carlos, and Miguel. I don't remember you. <laughs> uh, no, no sé. Cla Cuando... Claudia, Cristia. No. No, no sé, teacher. You or you don't remember? No. No se acuerda en qué grupo estaba o con quiénes estaba. Es que justo me sacó cuando cuando usted estaba asignando. Ah, oh, no yes. Había... Ah, okay. So I am going to take you to room number one. Yes, to room number one. I am going to send okay. you here. Okay. I am going to send you right now to group number one. Go ahead. Okay, let's go back and work with the groups. <laughs> uh -huh. Teacher, we don't have to describe how we cook, right? <laughs> no, no. Okay. But you have to describe how you get the products, how, okay. do you, how you storage them, if you storage them in a specific places, or how you, I mean, how you work with them how you assign them, like, uh, okay, we receive products specifically for uh, the bakery itself or for cooking, for the kitchen and everything. And uh, later on, what you need to put a little bit more detail is on the process of uh, outbounding, right? 
the how you um, distribute them, how to keep the inventory, how you keep track of everything, how you take the products to the customers and the consumers. So that's that's something that we need to put a little bit more detail on. Okay. If you are going to use any type of delivery system, if you are going to take the product to the house of the customer, how are you going to do it? If you are going to hire on a specific place. Uh -huh. the, the delivery is part of inbounding process or outbounding? The delivery, depending, if you hire it, it is part of the outbounding. And if it is a, from your side, it's a little bit of the inbounding because you need to have a storage for the cars, the different cars, um, maintenance for the cars. So the, it, the, main, the main idea in, in this case is to sell to select those market like the, the first one. The cake. Okay, you are going to take the cakes to select the market, eh? That's nice, it's a very good idea. So in that case, you need your own trucks. Si necesitan sus camiones. Okay. Your, your own trucks. But imagine if you hire, I don't know, like uh, Hugo or Pedido or something, <laughs> one by one <laughs> yeah. to the supermarket. And that's not that's not okay, right? In this type of processes, okay. Cakes, cakes. <laughs> cakes. cakes on the street. <laughs> no. Yeah, it would be like, like the I I order <laughs> fifty. I order fifty cakes. I have fifty motorcycles coming. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> not at all. Okay, so finish. <laughs> with freezers uh -huh, because they cannot be normal motorcycles if not they are going to melt down yeah. <laughs> imagine the fondant and i, like, I ordered for a spider-man not a halloween thing <laughs> <laughs> a very horrible spider -Man. <laughs> yeah someone said like in these videos that you have like what you order and what you have what you get right <laughs> <laughs> <A> very horrible <laughs> definitely <laughs> okay Keep discussing, please, and we're going to go back in a second. Go ahead. Okay. 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 Teacher, we have a doubt. Tell me. This is for tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, my dear students. That's why I told you I am going to. And we you. almost finished, teacher. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I know, but you need to present. So it's like, uh huh. No, that's why I said, like, I have all the things timed out. Don't worry. And okay. that's why I told you I'm going to call the attendance because I need you to work on this. And I have exactly the 20 minutes for this activity. And uh, okay. we're going to set it out uh, right now. We're going to go back to the main room in, like, two minutes. And you are going to organize everything for you to present tomorrow in class, okay? Okay, you are well. going to give uh, a, a bigger and better idea tomorrow. Okay? Así tenemos ya en el día de mañana, le pueden dar algunos toques, algunos detalles finales, algunos detalles de order, quién va a explicar qué, y ya nos organizamos. Okay? So let's go back to the main okay. session, my dear class. Okay. 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 There you are. Okay, class, very good. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am going to wait for the rest of the groups to come. Maybe they are panicking because they are going to present right now. You are the only group who asked me the question. <laughs> and they say, hasta las 11 nos vamos a ir ahora. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, welcome, welcome. Welcome back. Hey, Diana, what are the names of your cats? The name of my cats? Uh-huh. Uy, 
Calígula, <ríe> eh, Telma, Sirius y Venus. Are they from Harry Potter? Uh, Sirius, yes. Yeah. <ríe> <ríe> ¿En Calígula? Uh, I don't know how to say this in English. It was a emperador romano. Oh, uh, that was Rom a Roman emperor. Roman emperor. Roman? That was a sadistic man. Okay. <laughs> and my cat is a little like that. Like yes. this, this type of love, a special love. Yes, yes. Okay, it matches the name. <laughs> okay, good. And the personality. And the personality as well. Well, my dear class, very good. Did you set up? everything, the processes that you're going to be following? Do you have all the details ready? We're going to present right now. So I think we're going to finish at 11. Huh? <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> no, time I need to sleep. It's time to sleep. I need you to have a, your presentation ready for tomorrow. You can uh, set up a little bit on the details during the day. Uh, if you can add more information to have it in, in detail. For tomorrow, it will be perfect. If you want to create a little PPT for you to present with your group, that's fantastic. If you want to create an, a little image, you can do it. And or if you want to explain it there in detail without any material, that's also okay. So please, for tomorrow, you know who your group is, right? Who, are you, who you are working with. If not, I am going to send you a picture of the groups. Because uh, if not, they're going to say, I no sabía con quién iba, teacher. No, come on. You know, you know your friends, right? We're like a mini family, so you, you don't get lost. And let me see. I am going to take the picture of the four groups. I only have four groups, okay? And I have here, well, the ones that are here. Group number one, Claudia, Cristia, Jose, Miguel, and Silvia. Group number two. Jose Rodrigo, Manuel, Norma, Olga, and Tatiana. Group number three, Carolina, Juan, and Rosa. Who else was there? Group three, solo ustedes tres estaban. Carolina, Juan, no, and Rosa. No, Nelson. Nelson. En Nelson. Nelson, Nelson creo que me lo botó el internet. Ok, Nelson en Gabarrete. Nelson. En in group number four. It was Diana. Jorge, Yvette, Rocio, and I. Uh, okay, Rocio is missing here. Rocio. Okay. Good. So well, you are going to. <laughs> uh, ah, que Rocio se salió del todo del grupo. Hey, <laughs> you no, know, I had an interview. It's time to leave. Okay, my dear class, have a beautiful night. Get ready for tomorrow and sleep well. And. I will see you tomorrow then. As Linda is not in the class, I am going to attend Mr. Manuel. A couple of minutes, okay. just for you. Thank you, okay? teacher. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Manuel is you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Bye. 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 Take going care. To, going to have a little, little. A, a little minute. moment. Hello, yes, Mr. Manuel. Te lo voy a decir así rápido en español. Uh -huh. <laughs> No, teacher, yo estoy haciendo mi mayor esfuerzo. I, um, I to try, I am trying to, to make, to do to my, my, my best effort to, to learn. So I, I need you, I, I need to tell you uh, in, this, in this little time um, we have, uh, I, I lost the uh, afraid. The fear. The fear to, to talk. Or I remember the time, the last time I, I, I when the teacher in the sex in the in the module in this module but in this level in the, the module six, the teacher said, we don't we don't use this book. But uh, we are going to, to talk, 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 talk. Okay. I was, I was here, but, but I happy. <laughs> okay, so uh, when you use it, when you did it uh, uh, presential, 
Yes, you yes. did you did this this uh, this module presential, right? Yes, yes, all module. Okay, but you see, I am very I am very happy that now you are taking advantage of participation of production and and at the moment of speaking, you are just doing your best and you say like I I want to participate, I want to do it, I want to I want to share because yes. that is the only that is the only way you are going to develop the language. English can be uh, all mastered in your mind and in your head and you understand everything. But if you don't produce, it's going to be in vain, all the okay. effort. Denme okay. la clara entonces que puedo hacer, porque sí, necesito todo, necesito, necesito um, my listening. Um, Yo necesito por lo menos una clave. Bueno, yo me he propuesto eh, repasar, repasar. Me tomo un tiempo porque cuando yo quiero repasar casi no tengo tiempo. Y cuando tengo tiempo, abro mi teléfono. Tomo uh -huh. Ay, ya, modo, ya me escriben ahí. Uh -huh. Pero yo necesito, eh, tengo por lo menos, eh, cuando usted abrió su libro de de Tom Sawyer y, y lo demás me acordé que tenía yo ahí, ahí tengo todo, todo toda la aventura de Tom Sawyer y va por capítulos, ahí es yes. magnífico porque son, no sé si en su libro bueno, más que todo en, en el listening es que se oye eh, el acento y yo lo tengo, yes. en, yo creo que es británico you have, an, you have audiobooks yes Hey, that's a very good thing. It, the, the, all the audiobooks indeed are a very good way to practice because I always recommend my students, if you have the opportunity to read, do it. Because with reading, you can get vocabulary, you can get ideas, you can get sentences, you can get grammar, everything. I mean, reading is a very good tool that you can use. In this app, I can read and listen in the... Oh. Moment. Okay, and something that you can add to this, and you tell me, give me the secret teacher. I am going to give you the, the secret that I use. If you have the app and you can listen to the audio and you can read, the best thing that you can do next is repeat. Yes, I, I, I do it. Okay, you stop, repeat yes. until you get it as similar as possible to the reader. Okay. A veces nosotros lo que hacemos es que leemos una vez y decimos, sí, eh, ya, ya repetí. Pero lo tiene que repetir tantas veces hasta que le salga casi idéntico. Correcto. Al, al, y, al... Sobre, sobre memorizar, porque yo siento que al memorizar es bien mm, difícil. Es no. Porque yo no tengo captura de lo que usted pone ahí, ¿verdad? porque a veces no aparece en el libro. Aquí tengo mi libro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, well, I like, I really like to add things to the class. For example, I like to add these uh, interaction sections. I like to add these vocabulary parts. I like to add these grammar sections uh, to the class because uh, it helps you to increase your, your knowledge about the language, not only logistics, t, 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 t. No, but you can learn about some other things during class and interacting. Like, for example, this activity of the restaurant that you say like, yeah, pues te pueden aprender todo lo de la logística, pero si no lo llevan a la práctica, no lo van a comprender del todo. And so, so I said like, I have to make this match, this click here of, ah, pongámonos ya en los pies del, del que está armando, vea, cómo lo hace, qué ocupa, cómo hace. So eh, I really like to include this type of activities. So in general, Mr. Manuel, um, the first question that I always do in the one-on-one, -on -one, how have you felt in the classes? How have Very you good. felt in the classes? Very good. Okay. Yes, I, I like, I like, because for me in, in the first class, I was a problem with the, with the, the Zoom with, and I, my daughter, Help me, but she she received one, two, two grades, and 
nine, nine, ninth grade in in the in the high school. Uh -huh. uh, the first first year. And uh, I mean, so, so so, they they are very handy. They are very handy at the moment of using technology. For sure, yeah. they they move into the world of technology, yeah. right? They they live on yeah, that. But but I in this moment I can use. Uh, you can yeah. you are mastering everything. That's nice. No, <laughs> no matter, but I I, I can use. No, when you say like you are mastering, it's like si ya se está poniendo las pilas. O sea, cuando uno ocupamos la palabra, por ejemplo, mastering, por ejemplo, en el inglés, si usted se está poniendo las pilas y está aprendiendo un montón, decís, I am mastering in English. O sea, ya me estoy metiendo ya del todo. Lo estoy haciendo yeah. ya propio. I am mastering the language. Lo estoy aprendiendo. Okay. okay. And later you are going to be a master of English because you say like, ah, I know everything about it. Okay. Entonces, the next question for you is about 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 listening because I have um, I have a problem with my listening. Okay, my you listening. know you know for the listening it is good that for example you in your case that you ride the motorcycle and everything and that you are on the street right. I don't know if you have a, like headphones at the moment of driving. I not this is because my 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 daily routine is is places are, are near on the street. Okay, that are near near you. Uh huh. Okay, yeah. but in okay. the in the case, imagine that you have some space yeah. during the day. I have a very good site for you to practice listening. That they have this twenty four hour English on which they are using different questions. And they say, for example, eh, they have topics and they say, for example, pets. And they add a lot of questions about pets. Doctors, okay. a lot of questions about doctors. They say eh, school, a lot of questions about school. And you listen to different conversations related to the topics. So yes, yes. I, I really like this, uh, this site. I really recommend it. And I am going mm -hmm. to share with you the link right now for you to have it and for you to start practicing your listening with that. And I am going to share two. I am going to share the listening and I'm going to share another one that it's uh, a lady from YouTube. It's not me, okay? <laughs> it's another lady from YouTube that uh -huh. explains uh, different topics of grammar, listening, reading, and you can listen to her accent and you can also get for sure the knowledge that she shares, right? So on your free time, on lunch, during the breaks or something, you can check on the videos and they are very good and they help you a lot with the listening. I, I, I have three, oh, two, two apps in my cell phone. Mm -hmm. For example, best of audio audio books good that's app, a good I, one no the, the books I I, I I i what do you practice. say practice listen I got, download a download i i download the tom sawyer that's good yes. and also i have english interview ah questions different. they have questions huh different interviews Yes. For job and dating, social socializing, renting hey. an apartment. That, hey, that's a good one. <laughs> Now yeah, you are yeah. going to share that one with me. Okay, yo le voy a mandar ah, los míos okay. y usted me manda. <laughs> you know, okay. share yeah. the link on the group because that can also help others. Se les puede oh. servir también a sus otros compañeros. Share it in the group and I'm going to get it from there. And I am going to share as well the links that I am mentioning for you. And so you can have it and you can practice. Okay. I didn't, I didn't see in this app. There is also one, 150 classic audio books. Wow. Imagine. In the order, in the order is is uh all more more 
So, but reading, reading is always a hit. So I always recommend you to read, repeat, mm -hmm. analyze, get vocabulary. If you see vocabulary that you didn't know, write it on your notebook, okay? Yeah, it's my compromise. Okay? Yeah, you are going to make the commitment. So you say, I'm going to take the commitment, right? I am going to take the commitment, okay? The commitment, yes, teacher. Okay, my dear Manuel, and yes? ¿Dónde le comparto? ¿Dónde le comparto? La in the WhatsApp group. En el grupo de, sí, in the group. It's for everybody. Ahí no sirve a todos. Yeah, for the group. Ojalá que esté todo ahí en Play Store, porque de ahí los, de ahí los. Fueron recomendados por un profesor que tuvimos también. That's cool, okay. So share it there on the group and it is going to be helpful for everybody there, even for me, I'm going to use it for my students. <laughs> well, Manuel, have a beautiful night. Thank you for staying with me. Thank you for this moment of sharing. And uh, if you have any question, any doubt or any other need, remember that I am always available, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank teacher. you very much. Uh, you are very helpful. Thank you very much. Oh, you no, you no, are no, very no, participant. No, no. Have, have a, a nice, a, nice a, night. Nice, nice night. Have a nice night. Take care, Manuel. Don't twist her. Don't twist her. Yeah. Have a beautiful night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.